Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Moon Prison Planner. Welcome back to my channel for another video, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Um, today I'm going to be planning for the week of Monday the 12th through the 18th of August in my Vertical Neutral Erin Condren Life Planner 2019 to 2020 using this kit by Exo Mama Plans. Uh, this is a new kit, like a new shop for me. I've never used any kits from Exo Mama Plans. I've used a couple of her stickers that I got from Freebies, but I've never used any of her like kits before. So I'm really happy to be using this kit from her for this very special week. Um, this is the week of my mother-in-law's birthday as well as my son's birthday. And this week my son turns 10 years old. So gonna be the big double digits, one zero on the 18th on Sunday. Um, so this is why I chose that kit because it's a really cute birthday kit and I love how it's got the pinks and the blues So it's not you know particularly a feminine or masculine or you know It's not like specifically for girls and boys or boys it doesn't have a bunch of you know um, Fashion girls and stuff. So um, Yeah, so I chose this kit and that was a glimpse of last week's uh, Spread which was a kit by cozy paper co. I will have that video linked down in the description box below as well as any of the stickers that um, I'm using this week and the shops um, will have their links down below as well So I'm gonna go ahead and start by laying down the base of the kit with the bottom washi the date covers the headers the full boxes as I recap how last week planned out. Um, and really quick, I do wanna mention um, that I apologize for my voice. It is still not completely like back yet. Um, if you're new to my channel, this is not how my voice normally sounds. I was sick for um, almost like two weeks and I was doing a lot of coughing. I think I had bronchitis. Um, and so it um, took my voice away um, and it's a lot better now but it's not completely back. So I do apologize if that bothers you. Um, hopefully by the time I film next week's plan with me, my voice will be completely back. Um, but we'll see. I, I don't have um, like hope for that, like a lot of hope for that because I'm running so far behind catching up with my videos. I really need to film. I haven't even filmed next week's plan with me yet. And um, this video is going up late, obviously, um, because I had lost my voice and I was sick and I was behind from the previous week. Anyway, so by the time I finally film next week, um, my voice will probably still sound like this. So it's going on three weeks in a row. I'm not going to have a voice. So that's great. Um, but yeah, I just hope that you forgive me and um, I thank you for your patience for all of these videos being up late as I was sick and didn't have a voice and stuff. So anyways, um, so last week was Monday the 5th through the 11th. And like I said, that was a Cozy Paper Co. kit. And I feel like because I just filmed this plan with me um, like a few days ago and recorded the voiceover, I feel like I just talked about this. But yeah, it's just, I'm so far behind. <laughs> um, so on Monday, I felt really sick. The previous week end is when I started getting sick. But Monday the 5th was when I really, really started getting sick. Um, and um, I still had to go to work. Um, cause I can't miss any work without losing my job. <clears throat> I can't miss any work without losing my job. So, um, I still had to go to work, unfortunately. I think that that's what's been keeping me sick longer than I should, you know, is cause I don't have those, the time to like call out and, you know, just like rest and get a lot of the rest that I needed. So, um, that's why it was like going on like two weeks of being sick. It was really just one week of being sick, like really, really sick. And then... The remainder of this past week has been on the up, you know, like over the hill and I've been a lot better and not sick anymore, but I still have a cough and I still don't have my voice back. Um, I think because I'm still coughing up, you know, junk in my lungs um, because um, that's what's keeping me from getting my voice back because I still keep coughing. So anyways, but back to Monday. So Monday the 5th, I was just like really sick. Um... And I went to Target on my lunch because I was scrolling through Facebook and um, somebody was kind enough in one of our planner groups to post a Starbucks gift card, gift card code. And um, they didn't say how much was like on it or anything. You know, they were just like, you know, use it. It's just like a, you know, use it until it's gone kind of thing. So um, luckily I had found that on my lunch break. So I ran to Target because there's a Target right behind my work and there's a Starbucks in there. And I got a tea for free because I used the gift cards. That was very sweet. And I really needed some tea to like help me with my coughing and feel better. Unfortunately, though, for myself, I ended up puking. And 
that tea went (laughs) bye-bye. So, yeah. And then I got Taco Bell for dinner, (laughs) which is funny because, um, you know, usually, like, if you're sick and you're puking, you should probably be eating, like, broth and crackers, you know, like, very mild things. Um, But I was just so starving because I had only had breakfast and tea and then I threw up and then didn't have anything for the rest of the entire day because, you know, I felt nauseous. I was like, I don't want to throw up again. So... But yeah, by the time it was dinner time and I was still sick, I just didn't feel like cooking. We hadn't even gone grocery shopping because I had been sick on the weekend and normally I go grocery shopping on the weekend, but I was sick, so I didn't. So anyways, I was just like starving and sick and we went and got Taco Bell and my husband brought it home. So then on Tuesday, um, I was still sick, but I was feeling a little bit better. My husband went grocery shopping, thankfully. Um, I picked up a package and then also uh, we had Panda Express for dinner, which was so yummy because I found out that... So, like, back in March, they um, changed up some of their recipes so that they're vegetarian-friendly. Um, like, they're, you know, things that you would think are vegetarian, like chow mein or, like, the fried rice or, you know, things like that. Mixed vegetables. Um, they were using, like, chicken seasoning in it. So they had nothing vegetarian-friendly. So it was really a big bummer. Um, you know, especially for someone like me because I don't eat meat. So back in March, um, they finally changed the recipes for like the chow mein, the rice, the veggies, um, and the eggplant tofu to not use any more chicken seasoning. So I'm really happy about that since I got to eat my Panda Express. (laughs) I feel like that's one of the most annoying things about being vegetarian is that you, you know, there's just like things that you would think should be totally vegetarian and then they're not because they put like chicken broth in it and it's like, like, damn it, why couldn't you have just used vegetable broth and I could totally have eaten this and it would have been super yummy and delicious, just the same, you know, like to me, I've honestly never been able to tell the difference between like chicken broth and vegetable broth. It just tasted like brothy to me, you know, and, and I'm saying that as someone who's, you know, eaten meat in their entire life, I only stopped eating meat like three years ago, three, three, four years ago. So yeah, it's not like I forgot how it tasted or something. It's like, I like legitimately just like never could tell the difference. So I'm always frustrated, you know, when they use chicken broth instead of vegetable broth and, you know, like rices or noodles or something. Cause it's like, damn it, you just made it not vegetarian. Thanks a lot. <laughs> you know, anyways, um, then for Wednesday, I was feeling a little bit better, so I finally cooked dinner, since so we had groceries too, um, and I painted my nails, and I made some limeade with my son, since that was on our little summer bucket list. Um, Thursday, we had John's Incredible Pizza for dinner. I don't know if they have that in your location. They just recently brought it to Vegas, like, a few years ago. It's really cool, because it's, like, kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese, Peter Piper Pizza kind of place, but, um, like, their game zone actually has a couple of rides, like, they have bumper cars, and they have, like, this, like, thing that, like, spins you around and you can, like, twirl it kind of like the teacups at Disneyland, except it, like, lifts you off the ground. So there's, like, two rides, and then there's also golf, and then there's, like, a bunch of games. So it's pretty cool. And they have a bunch of rooms that you go into to eat. So it's not, like, um, you know, it's not, like, a like one big room. It's, like, different rooms. And it's really cool because they have, like, a cabin-themed room, which is my favorite because I love camping in the woods and stuff. And they have, like, a sports-themed room, and they have, like... Uh, cartoon kind of room with like Mickey Mouse and playing cartoons all the time on the TV. It's really cool. Um, and it's buffet. Everything's buffet. So if you go, definitely get the fried chicken. I know I just said I'm vegetarian, but like I said, I used to eat meat <laughs> and I'm just like being honest. Like, I don't care if other people eat meat. Like I just don't eat meat, you know? Um, you're there anyway. If you eat chicken, get it. Cause I'm telling you it's so good. Like so good. Um, it's really good. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. I don't, you know, I don't eat it anymore, but when I did, man, the fried chicken is so good. Um, so definitely get that, but they have really good, you know, they got pizza and they have things like chicken they have, um, pastas and like a bunch of dessert. It's really cool. I like it. So if they have one near you, definitely check it out. Anyways, though, then for Friday, we had a couple of doctor's appointments. I saw the ENT and my son saw the pediatrician, uh, just for a checkup. And my ENT appointment was like so useless because, <laughs> I went because I had, I've I've always had like a voice issues where my voice kind of just breaks and cuts off. And if you've seen my videos or my stories before when I didn't have a raspy voice like this, I'm sure you've heard it. And I don't know what it is, but he doesn't know either. He just chalked it up to stress. So whatever. That was useless. (laughs) Um, And then we had a meet and greet at my son's school. So I went and met his teacher. So I'm really excited that he has um, what seems to be a good teacher this year. Um, then on Saturday we went to the drive-ins and we saw the Lion King 
and my car died, <laughs> my battery. But as it turned out, I needed a new battery because it was leaking battery acid somehow. I don't know how the heck that happened, but anyways, the Lion King was okay. It wasn't my favorite. I'm just not a big fan of these live action videos that much. Um, the li- live action Disney's, I don't know. My favorite was Aladdin. I really loved that live action a lot. But the other live actions have just been like, eh, to me. Maleficent I really love too, but I don't like, I don't really consider it in the Disney live action lineup because there never was like an original Maleficent, you know what I mean? Like, like a cartoon to compare it to. So that's why I don't really consider Maleficent one of those. So when I'm talking about live actions that have comparable cartoons, I no, I haven't really liked any of them except for Aladdin. <laughs> um, so we watched The Lion King and the carnival was really fun. There was like a free bouncy house and a free bungee rope like run jump pull thing and there was like um a trackless train that drove us around and a dunk a dunk tank and face painting for free all for free any my son even got a backpack so it was a really fun time I really love the drive-ins I just wish my car wouldn't die every time I go <laughs> also on Saturday I picked up my prescription that I got from the ENT which by the way ENT is your nose and throat specialist um so I don't know if I mentioned that Um, so yeah, the only good good thing that came out of that appointment was that he gave me antibiotics for my cough since he was like, your cough sounds kind of bad. Like here, I'll give some antibiotics and steroids. So I was like, great, thanks. So, um, I think I really needed that to get over the bronchitis. Um, it just sucks. The thing with bronchitis, if if you didn't know, is that, um, once the virus is gone, you still have a lot of phlegm in your lungs that, you know, isn't going anywhere. You need to cough it up. Um, so that's why after even like once you've, you're all better and you don't have bronchitis anymore, you can still have a cough for like up to like two or three weeks afterwards. Cause you're like coughing up that leftover crap in your lungs. Um, so yeah, I think for the most part it's gone though. Cause I'm feeling like I can breathe a lot better and I am coughing a lot less. Um, still coughing though, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm pretty much better now and I don't have, I don't have it anymore. It's just, you know, the cough, I got to get rid of the crap in my lungs and eventually, once I stop coughing, then I will finally, um, um, oh, I just got a notification on my phone. I got distracted. Sorry. Once I stop coughing, I will finally be able to get my voice back completely. Anyways, so then that was my Saturday. And then on Sunday, we, um, were supposed to go swimming, but I just like, wasn't feeling like it. It was still just kind of bleh, you know? And we went to my in-law's house because normally we go on Saturdays, but we went on Sunday instead because we went to the carnival at the drive-ins. So we went to their house. We watched, we watched Captain Marvel, which is a good movie. I love Captain Marvel. We've already seen it, but my son hadn't seen it yet, so that's why we saw it. And then we just kind of like prepped for his first day of school um, since Monday was the first day of school for him. So that was it for last week. Um, now moving on to the sidebar for this week, I did choose um, to put the um, quote box on Sunday instead because my son's birthday is Sunday (laughs) so instead of putting the quote box there I just put like a plain box in the quote box area and then I'm using some simply gilded planner con mama washi is what it's called but it's called like planner con 15 millimeter (laughs) um to um I thought it worked really good with this bride with the pink and the you know uh pink and blue so perfect (laughs) and so I'm using that as a separator and I'm using my grateful for sticker from cozy paper co um, with my Monday through Sunday tracker from the kit, just because I like to mark a grateful for, uh, thing, like gratitude, you know, daily. Um, and then I'm doing my to-do list at the bottom of the day, which is just my weekly to-do list. And there wasn't like a full box um, checklist in the kit, but I did, um, there was nine full boxes. So I used one of her like plain full boxes and just put a checklist over on the side and made my own full box checklist. Um, and then I used a like must-do header from the kit but I am going to change it out because I didn't notice that there was like to-do headers and I like them better. So I'm going to change that out. Um, and then I have this big old piece of deco with these cute balloons and this yummy looking cake. So I put that up in the quote box area because I'm going to write 10 um, next to it since my son's turning 10. I could have put it like right in the middle, but I wanted to like write, you know, something in there too. Um, so just put it off to the side and then I'm just putting some extra like deco here down at the bottom. There's this yummy little cupcake with balloons and like a little party hat and a cute little star and a heart. Um, so that is it for, and I love, you know, um, I forgot to mention. So with the whole like to-do list that I made, I love how her kits come with full boxes that are plain and then also full boxes that are patterned because it's really helpful if you have a really full day 
and you need you need that full box space but you know like if it's a cute little pattern full box or whatever you don't want to cover it but if it's a plain one like that my to-do list one is that's like no big deal covering it you know like or putting a checklist you can make a checklist out of it like it's just so much more versatile so I love her kits that they do that so I'm really like a fan of this exo mama plans shop like I said I've never used one of her kits before but they're really jam-packed full of stuff and it's all like super functional but cute and I love it and I love how unique some of her stickers are too like that to-do list it's so cute I love how it's like a little banner like, it looks like I layered those, like, it looks like I layered a, like, little to-do flag, like, over a piece of washi or something. I don't know. It's super, it's so cute. It's, like, stuff I've never seen before. Anyways, so, lover kit. And I would definitely purchase again. Um, and I think shipping was very reasonable, too, because, I mean, she lives in Hawaii where it's, like, hella expensive. But I thought, like, it wasn't, like, it didn't cost, like, any more. Like, I didn't, you know what I mean? Like, it was just, like, this is a reasonable price. Like, cool. So anyways, moving on to Monday. Monday was the first day of school for my son, and that's about it. <laughs> so I just used a half box from the kit and then this cute little backpack that I got as a sampler from Binks and Bones. Then on to Tuesday, after work, I went to, got my car washed at the Wow Car Wash. Um, I remember them being like $3, but now they're 6 I don't know what happened to that, but either way, $6, six dollar car wash and you vacuum it yourself. It's like pretty cool. So I went and got my car washed, and then also we went to Dollar Tree after work, <clears throat> My son and I, we went on all these errands um, because I needed to pick up, um, I wanted like my son to give my mother-in-law something, like we got her a gift, and but then I wanted something to be like special just for him, but like just something like cheap and little, you know, so we just got a Dollar Tree thing, and I got like give the gift bags, the gift bags too for her gifts, um, love Dollar Tree. And then I recorded my voiceover for last week's plan with me on Tuesday, I know that's how late that video went up, was last week's plan with me going up this week. Um, so anyways, and I recorded the voiceover, which sounds even worse than this voiceover sounds, but like, whatever. <laughs> so I just used Fbox from the kit, and then in my news addiction, Triple Arrow. So moving on to Wednesday, I actually uploaded last week's plan with me. Um, so I pointed my arrow up for upload, which I've always done for a long time. And then I'm just going to write in upload plan with me. Also, Wednesday is Cozy Paper Co's $1 Wednesday, which I love. It was a food theme this past Wednesday. It was so cute. She had, like, foiled sushi and, like, um, avocado toast. And what else did I get? Pumpkin pie. Oh, I cannot even wait. I'm so excited. I love Cozy Paper Co. If you don't know already, I do PR for Cozy Paper Co. <laughs> um, so if you ever shop from Cozy Paper Co., make sure you... I don't know, how many times I got to say that? <laughs> if you ever shop from Georgie from Cozy Paper Co., make sure you mention Lisa in the notes to the seller so you can get my freebie. And then the rest of the day, I didn't do anything. I just pre-planned next week because, oh gosh, you guys, I'm so far behind. Anyways, so I just used a like dot and a little um, bow clip from Cozy Paper Co. And those are some of the $1 Wednesdays. You can get those small quarter sheets on premium mat for a dollar. Or if you get a clear paper, it's $1.25. So I don't think it can be beat. Anyways, moving on to Thursday. Thursday was my mother-in-law's birthday. So I'm using this cute half box that comes with like a cupcake and balloons. And a happy birthday script from my new addiction. And I love these scripts. As you can see, I use them a lot. I use them for every single birthday. And they've got the cute little bows on each end. They're so cute. And I need to get more sheets because I'm running out. I'm like more than halfway done. Um, so then also it was a full moon on my mother-in-law's birthday on the 15th. So I'm using my full moon trackers from Aurora and Avalon Creations. If you want to save 25% at Aurora and Avalon Creations, then just mention Moon Prism um, for the code to save 25% and you'll get my moon phase freebie as well. Uh, then moving on to Friday. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, okay, whoops. <laughs> so Friday, I had to pick up a package. So I just used a quarter box from the kit and then a cute little package with the hearts um, as a $1 Wednesday from Cozy Paper Co. And then it's also our Trash Eve on Friday. So I'm just using a trash can icon from Magic Prints Co. And um, just a quarter box from the kit. And I'm going to write Trash Eve. Um, since Saturday is Trash Day. Saturday morning. <laughs> then moving on to Saturday, I'm going to be using a triple arrow to mark filming since I have a ton of videos to film. So since I have multiple videos to film, I'm going to be using a little three heart or a little mini three box checklist from the kit. Um, because today I'm currently filming and recording this voiceover on Saturday the 17th. Sorry, I know this video is just so far behind, but again, I was sick and I lost my voice and I was already a week behind, so I had to film that one first. Anyways, I'm hoping, because I'm going to film next week's plan with me today as well, that I'm going to upload this plan with me today 
for this week that we're currently in and then I will have next week scheduled and then I also need to film a haul for July because I have a bunch of stuff that needs to just I need to put it away <laughs> So yeah, doing lots of filming today. Um, I also need to paint my nails, so I'm using another dot and a cute little nail polish icon from Cozy Paper Co. from One Dollar Wednesday. I love to use those dots whenever I have like a really small icon, because it just kind of helps. I like to layer things, and it also helps to like not have this sticker just like floating in the white space, and it's so tiny it's getting lost. You know, I don't know. Just kind of adds a little something to it. So I love those little sparkly dots. Um, and then I'm using a half box down at the end of Saturday because we're going to be going to Dave and Buster's for my son's birthday. I'm just whispering that so he doesn't hear me. Um, so it's going to be super exciting and we're going to play lots of games and have lots of fun. I hope you can hear me because I don't want him to hear me. <laughs> Anyways, um, so then I found there was this cute like strip that says birthday celebrations um, that comes in the kit. So I love that she makes her kits like so that they're like for the kit you know what I mean like you wouldn't find a, a strip that says birthday celebrations in like one of her fall kits you know what I mean like she tailors the kit so it's not just the same format for all of them you know like she'll add certain things like specifically for the theme of the kit or whatever so I just love that I've never seen that before so I thought that was cute to put over the weekend um it doesn't perfectly fit the weekend which is a little weird but like I don't know whatever I guess you could use that wherever you wanted so that's probably why so I just put that at the top because we're having our little birthday celebrations this Saturday and Sunday. And then, of course, like I said, Sunday is my son's birthday. So I'm going to be putting the other half box with the cute little cake and then another happy birthday script from My Newest Addiction. Also, we're moving our family time to Sunday again because, you know, Saturday we're going to be going out. So um, Sunday we're going to be going to my in-law's house and um, we're going to watch a movie. So I put down the movie night script, or not script, um, thing that comes in the kit. And I just use like a little quarter box in between there because the half box won't fit just so I could write in what movie we watch. Oh, and then the family time script is from Cozy Paper Co. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so I think it's going to be nice that we're, you know, going out on Saturday for the birthday instead of Sunday because it's a school night. So we can just celebrate his actual birthday with my in-laws, with family, and, you know, just keep it like nice and chill, watch a movie, have dinner and open some presents and, you know, and then head to bed early for school tomorrow. <laughs> so anyways, I just used the uh, weekend like banner down at the bottom and the bottom washi there. And then I saw there was these cute little banners that say day off. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. I really want to use them because y'all know I work seven days a week. So like, when am I ever going to get to use these little day off stickers? Um, so I just used them on Saturday and Sunday since I do have the days off. Um, because we are in the, mis the middle of the transition of uh, the end of the summer semester and the beginning of the fall semester. So whenever we're in that transition at the school, we all have, you know, we have time off. Um, so yeah, right now I do have a couple weeks off before I have to start working again with the college for the fall semester. Um, and then I remembered that I had um, some uh, bills due and I, there were some bills in the kit. So I figured, you know, why not go ahead and fill up uh, a little bit of space on Friday with some bill dues. Uh, so I'm just putting those in on Friday. Oh, and then I also saw that there was some cute like scripts that are just kind of like sitting there. Um, the one that says Friday, I thought I would put that on Friday. <laughs> and then there's one that says Hello Monday. So I thought those were cute and might as well use them, right? <laughs> um, oh, and then good news is that for the fall semester, I'm actually not going to be working seven days a week. I'm gonna be working six days a week. Um, which was kind of unintended. I wanted to work like an hour Monday, a day, uh, Monday through Thursday, and then five hours on uh, Sunday, no, Saturday, and then have Sunday off, you know, so I could still have almost 10 hours a week. So it would still be, you know, sufficient, but then also have a day off, but they couldn't give me that. So they only give me Saturday. So I'm only going to be working one day a week at the college and then my full-time job five days a week. Um, so, you know, not bad. I still love working for the college and I'm happy they still put me on the schedule, <laughs> even though I only work one day a week for them. I'm sure they could just find somebody else to work more hours, but whatever. Um, anyway, and then I'm just putting a couple strips of the 5mm Simply Gilded Washi at the top there because I just love putting washi up there. It just adds more color and more pop. Um, and I decided to kind of mix it up. And so usually I would just use like one color for both sides, but I have mixed it up in the past and I like it. And plus, um, this kit has a little bit of yellow in it too. And I thought I would, you know, kind of use a little yellow, but then I also have the cute little pink stardust. So I don't know. I just ended up using both. <laughs> um, and then that's about it for this plan with me. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in, um, you know, the, pl the plans for what happened this week and what's going on. Um, I used like a little heart icon over the Dollar Tree because I left space for a sticker because I wasn't sure what I wanted to put for Dollar Tree. Like I wanted to put a dollar sign, but then I have the dollar sign for Cozy Paper Co. on Wednesday. 
So I was like, mm, what do I put there? And I was gonna put a grocery cart, but then I was like, no, I should put a grocery cart for when we go grocery shopping. I don't know. So I just put a heart because we went to Dollar Tree to get, you know, presents for family. So um, yeah, why not? <laughs> so anyways, yeah, uh, that's about it for this time with me. So uh, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you um, give this video a thumbs up if you did because it would help me out. And I hope you subscribe if you're not already but you would like to see more videos from me. Again, my voice does not normally sound like this. Um, so I apologize for that. But yeah, if you do like my videos, then um, I hope you subscribe so that you can stick around and I'll see you in next week's videos. I do my, you know, weekly plan with me's. I do my hauls just once a month, not weekly. <laughs> um, and my monthly plan with me's in the notes section too. Um, so yeah, lots of good things there. Um, definitely follow me on Instagram if you want to see some up close shots of the spread before the pen, after the pen, and also what I fill it in with because sometimes there's like other things that I need to fill it in with that happened and I forgot to fill in or, you know, just I filled in later on or whatever. And I also post lots of personal things in my Instagram stories. So you'll probably see our adventures at David Buster's tonight um, on my Instagram stories and like playing games and having fun and stuff. So yeah, I hope that you're watching those. And definitely leave me a comment down below if you'd like to ask a question or just say hi because I always reply back and I'll say hi back. And again, um, if you want to shop any of these shops, check the links down below. I do have discount codes for some of these shops or sometimes I just have like a straight link that you click um, as a referral link and you'll save like $5 off your first purchase or something. All right. Anyways, hope you all take care and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.